Peace, loves. Thank you so much for joining me in this moment. My name is Christina. Welcome to Rise in Gold. So today I want to give you some tips um, regarding how to start a health journey. You know, um, I definitely feel that everyone genuinely wants to be healthy. I don't think anyone wants to feel uncomfortable in their body. Um, but some of us may not know where to start. And some of us may be looking at, you know, these health influencers on social media, which, you know, we give thanks for. But um, sometimes things can seem so far-fetched and we just need, you know, someone to bridge the gap for us. And so I want to come and give you these tips and the hopes that you're able to take this information and apply it to your life. So the first tip regarding um, beginning a health journey, I would say is taking deep breaths. Um, when you get more breath into the body, you are literally putting oxygen into the cells. You are oxygenating the cells, you know, and um, it just puts you in a, it puts you in a mental state um, of just relaxation. You're able to relax. And um, I, I honestly feel that a lot of poor decisions come from shallow breathing um, because we're in this stressful state you know, now we're um, acting out in a stressful way, you know. So when the body is able to relax um, and we're able to breathe deeply, we're able to think clearer. Um, the second tip will be to meditate. I love meditation because it allows us to clear the mind. Um, so many of us can do so many things. But very few, I believe, um, have a hard time doing nothing, have a hard time like really relaxing and sitting and just doing nothing. And it's so important for us to empty our cups because when we empty our cups, more of this light can come in. It's like this spirit, the spirit of health can like really come over us. But when we're constantly moving and you know, just having this like controlling type of energy, trying to control everything, trying to do everything. This energy, you know, has a harder time like manifesting in our lives. So when we're able to just sit and be in this relaxing space, taking those deep breaths, meditating, clearing the mind, you know, now we can move from a, a clear space. Um, the third thing would be to have a movement practice you don't have to have a gym membership so many of us believe that we have to invest in a gym membership um, some of us may not be able to afford a gym membership um, or to afford training and you don't need none of that first of all you can get, go on youtube and you can look up different workouts there's a plethora of different things that you can do from Pilates to yoga to uh, hit training to calisthenics. Um, there's Tabata dance workouts, Zumba. You can go outside and you can just do a few workouts. You can do some squats, some push ups, some some app workouts. You could run. There's so many different things that you can do. You can walk. You don't even have to do a strenuous workout, but like just walking, you know, getting outside, breathing in that fresh air, moving your body. I think that's the whole point, having some type of movement practice so that you can get this energy within you flowing, you know, you can get this energy flowing, get the digest, the um, help your digestive system out by moving. Um, that's another tip. <clears throat> Hydration and not just drinking water. You know, you definitely want to drink water but also you can um you know get hydrated from fruit so um i love fruit juices i love smoothies things of that nature those things keep me hydrated um <laughs> i feel a lot of times a lot of people struggle with um cravings and you know especially when you're 
beginning on your health journey or even if you're in it and you find yourself going back i know for me a lot of times i would go back because i wasn't hydrated and the moment that i became hydrated i just those cravings went away that feeling of hunger went away and it all was just stemming from me being dehydrated so if you can hydrate yourself um with water with fruits um, with foods that just nourish the body, I think you'll be good. Um, <clears throat> good vibes. Being able to be surrounded around people that genuinely care for you and uplift you, inspire you, and motivate you is so essential on this health journey because, I mean, who wants to be around people who bring them down? You know, people where when you're around them, you feel depleted. You feel like this energy is like actually taking away from you. You want to be around people that uplift you. And it's so beautiful when you're in the presence of someone and you feel so alive. And good energy will make you feel alive. Good energy will make you feel inspired and motivated and feel like you can just conquer whatever it is that you need to conquer out here in this world. So good vibes you know, is very key. It's essential. A lot of people just focus on the food aspect of health, but, you know, there is there is health in surrounding yourself around people who genuinely care for you and genuinely love you. Um, and last but not least, enjoying the journey. This is so key. Being on a health journey, you actually have to enjoy it. So many people, I know when I first started out, I would go to the store and I would get salad stuff and I would get like spring mix and I would get all of the stuff that I just, I would re just waste my money getting foods that I did not like. My taste buds were not yet acclimated to, you know, the, the taste of like certain vegetables and stuff like that. My palate was very... It was just used to the soul food, you know? So um, when I was eating certain foods, I did not enjoy it. And it was more so, I was like trying to force myself into being healthy rather than actually enjoying the journey, eating foods that I love, being around people that I love, doing things that I love, movement practice. And it felt like I was imprisoning myself. It felt like a chore and it was not sustainable because after a while it's like your your being your body is like okay you're not about to put me through this i'm not about to keep eating salads when you know i don't like salads i'm not about to keep moving in this way and your body will literally break down on you versus if you're doing things for the love of it i am eating pineapple and, and don't be afraid to to mono meal and that just means like eating consuming one thing because it's actually really good for you but like if you find something that you love, um, I had a friend who would only eat plums and I'm like, don't you get tired of eating plums? And they would just be like, no. And you know, it's like, don't be afraid if you find something that you love, don't be afraid to go crazy with it, you know? So you love pineapples, um, but you don't really like a lot of fruit. Well, eat a lot of pineapple. You know, and don't be afraid. It's not going to be bad for you to consume a lot of pineapple. If you if you find a, a, a workout video that you that you love, you know, keep doing that workout video. Everything is just a means to an end because the more that you do it, you know, for instance, if you're continuously watching the same workout video and stuff like that, um, you know, eventually you might get to a space to where you're like, okay, you know what, I'm ready for something else. If you're, if you're constantly consuming pineapple, you might get to a space to where you're know, like, you know what, I think I wanna try something else, you know? If you're constantly meditating, say for instance, you start off meditating for five minutes, you might get to a space to where you're like, you know what, I wanna meditate for, you know, 10 minutes. If you're taking deep breaths, you know, you might get to a space to where you're like, you know what, I wanna do a whole breath work um, session right now, you know? Um, yeah, so these are all of my tips. I really hope that you're able to take 
this information that I've shared with you and apply it to your life in a way that's going to suit, you know, who you are, your lifestyle, um, and just enjoy it. Enjoy the journey. This is something when you embark on a health journey, when you begin to prioritize your health and your wellness, that is a testament of the love that you have for yourself, you know? And if you believe in a higher power, the love that you have for, for God, it really is a testament. And so you want to enjoy the journey. You want to enjoy it. And when you are enjoying the journey, you forget. It's like you just, you don't have to be so technical about it. Everything is not technical. Everything is not hope y'all understand what I what I'm getting at everything is not to be it's not so serious it's not so serious you have to have a heart the heart of a child out here and in order to really succeed in order to really succeed it's not so technical even if you're in a space to where your health might not be the greatest you know just taking those steps oh <clears throat> and the last thing I want to add is affirmations speaking life over yourself being able to tell yourself i can do it i'm capable i am worthy i'm deserving i am love i am love and telling yourself that you know you don't have to do it every single day but you know in the moments where it really counts you know really speaking life over your life speaking life over your life because you are deserving and you know sometimes that doubt will creep in when you're on your journey and it will try to knock you down but in those moments if you can really surrender to this this healing spirit that will come over you in those moments and allow it to just work through you and move through you and to utilize you you know you telling that energy no i am capable I am worthy, I am deserving, I am love. That will transform you. That will transform you in ways that you, you, you might not be able to fathom in that moment. But know that all of these things are healing and it may take time for you to see it, but you will see it the more that you pour into yourself the more that you love yourself, the more that you hydrate yourself, you meditate, you do the breath work, you have your movement practice, all of these things will pay off. They will pay off. And it will be such a great sight for you to see yourself healthy, happy, and enjoying life because there is nothing greater in life than to be able to eat, drink, and be merry. So thank you so much for joining me here and tuning in to this video. I really hope that this helps. Peace.